Hello and thanks for stopping by houseplangallery.com. My name is Mark Matheson. Today I'm excited to bring you a brand new house plan walkthrough video of the popular home HPG-1635-1, the Linwood. This home is 1635 square feet of living space and includes three bedrooms and two baths and has an absolute minimum of wasted space. Now this video was kindly taken by one of our previous clients and as you'll see it turned out very nicely. He added some very thoughtful enhancements and chose some really beautiful materials to complete the home. We hope you enjoy it, and please let us know if we can help in any way. This is the Linwood house plan. Uh, if you will notice the difference uh, of this house plan than the original is we left off the uh, picket railing for the more colonial type look that we wanted. and. Uh, as we get closer, we'll go over some farther changes that we have made to the plans as well. If you will notice on the uh, siding we have used, uh, hardy plank, we have opted to go with hardy plank versus vinyl for the siding. And as well on the uh, soffit, uh, we use the beaded height event soffit. Uh, that's just something that we preferred if you look at the beaded, the beaded soffit uh, and also the hardy plank. This is a look under the porch of the beaded soffit and also we bumped the garage wall out two feet and we'll be showing you a view of that we did it we bumped it out two feet to put up a double garage door so we come in the front door The room straight ahead, that's the uh, laundry room. It was supposed to be a storage room accessible from the garage, but we made that into an actual laundry room instead of a storage room. We actually split the closet from the dining room and made a coat closet here in the foyer. We added two foot to this end of the house and made this bathroom into a double lavatory instead of just a single lavatory like the plans show. We chose to do the big crown molding in all the rooms. We actually made this kitchen two feet wider. That bay window's eight feet instead of six feet. This is a stairway leading up.
this goes out to the garage but it's a mess we won't show that into the master suite we opted to continue the crown bolt instead of doing the actual tray ceiling that was shown on the plans this was actually supposed to be a closet uh, laundry room we made this into a closet and here's the master bathroom inside the master bedroom or bathroom this is the shower uh, the crown molds continued throughout the whole entire house this being the master closet which is a huge closet walk-in closet jacuzzi tub we opted to do stone travertine on all the floors and the backsplash in the uh, bath area this is a water closet room this is going up into the bonus room area we opted to put a attic access door in here to the attic access stairs going up up into the bonus room area this room is about 14 by 26 we use this as our family room up here we have a, another full bath uh, we did the shower stall oil rub bronze door handles fixtures hinges throughout the whole entire house travertine on all the floors back here this the plan actually called for a hip roof back here and we chose to gable it all the way to the end to make this room instead of attic access finished area and this is a playroom for the kids as you can see and it's about 12 by 26 which makes a nice playroom area uh, for the kids We are back outside again showing the front of the house um, and walking around to the left side of the house as you can see the garage area. Uh, we opted to do the double doors instead of the single door as shown on the actual plan itself. And again this of course is the garage side of the house. going around to the back of the house you can see the wind up there where the bonus room is and again that was calling for a hip roof and we chose to gable it and go with uh, and put a wind up there in that room as well uh, the witch's hat on the bay window uh, we did the uh, bay window brick instead of doing the stack joint as you can see on the bay window brick and also I put an overhang on the witch's hat instead of not, not doing an overhang. We continued to overhang all the way around the house, which I think was a nice accent. That's the inset to the porch. We don't have the steps built there yet. We're going to, uh, we're putting a pool in and we haven't got that far yet. Uh, this being the uh, rest of the back of the house. Going around to the other side. Uh, we didn't do hardy plank or vinyl in there. We just went ahead and bricked that gable all the way up That's what we opted to do so Back around to the front of the house